Welcome everybody, I'm your host Lino Sabia. And this is a new tutorial on FD Turbolens plugin in Cinema 4D. This is the rigging of the skull. For the animation of the head I move the pivot's point of the meshes. In the point I needed for the animations, in this case at the base of the cranium. And the natural pivot point of the mandible. And then I apply a sound effector. You can find the sound effector in the Mograph tab under Modifiers Sound Effector. We can drag and drop the modifier inside the mesh or the desired object. In the Sound Effector, in the Tab Effector, in the Slot Sound Track. I load the audio file I prepared before, in this case the Mark Hamill's Joker laughed. Then when I play the timeline I highlight the only frequency I'm interested into in the Tab Amplitude. In this case we want affect the rotation 15 degrees of the cranium and the rotation of the mandible in the opposite direction minus 13 degrees, in the Y axis. This is all for the rigging of the skull. And now we have a laughed in skull very funny ah ah. When you finished the rig I suggest to save the file with another name and begin with the new FX animation from there. In fact this is a new file. This, however, is not an in-depth tutorial on FD turbulence but on this particular rig and animation. But some of my followers ask me and here we are. For the settings of the particle system. We must have two things, first of all a container in which the simulation take place. Second we must have something, like a mesh, to emit the particles from. In this case a mesh of a skull and I animated it also. And then apply a tag with the right click in the object manager Turbolens FD emitter. Create a container in this case was 250 x 250 x 250 centimeters. Create a container in the menu plugin under Turbolens FD you can find the container. And now I scroll out the parameter in the one container. To simulation. Three rendering. And if you want you can pause the video and set all the parameters like this and you can achieve the same result. I want to warn you about the scale, if don't use this scale of the object and of the domain, you can have very different results. When you have set all your numbers in place you can run the simulation in the plugin menu under Turbolens FD simulation window. Clicking the cache button, I already do that, or you can load other caches you made in the past in another scene and this is a very useful feature. As you can see I animated only the radius in the first frames only make it smaller in the beginning. This is a very heavy simulation I have run this on my computer several maybe 20 hours maybe more. I want to stress out about the scale because it's very important for the result, not many people say about this. But if you want recreate the same effect of this video try to make it in the same scale or you can have very different results. You can see the result of the simulation on the link of the video. Tell me what you think in the comment. Post me some of your results. And thanks for watching.